Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to display a message from controller in view using JavaScript alert message box in ASP.NET Core. So let's start. So the very first thing, I'll open Solution Explorer and from there, I'll be opening the view. Inside the view, I'm creating a form using MVC HTML helper method. I'm making use of begin form method. It accepts three parameters. The first one is name of the action result method, which is index. The second one is name of the controller, which is home. And the third one is the type of call. In this scenario, it is a post call. So here I am starting by adding a text box. I am setting the ID for the text box. Now I am setting the name attribute for the text box. Here the name attribute is very important because on the server side that is inside the controller, this particular field value will be accessed using the name value or in other words, the name attribute value. Now I am adding a submit button which will be used to submit the form. I am making use of input type equal to submit. So that's it. Now our form is completed. Now let's move to the controller. So this is a controller. Now I'm creating an action result method inside the controller. This particular action method will accept the value of that particular text box in parameters. So as you can see, I have defined parameter name. Here the case is not important, but you need to make sure that the value of the name attribute and the value or in other words the name of the parameter should be same here i am making use of a view back object and i am setting the value of the parameter name as well as the current date time from the server into it before moving ahead i would like to inform you that an article has already been posted on this topic the link for the article and the code sample are available in the description also if you need any further help feel free to ask on forums the link for the forum is also available in the description Finally, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Finally, we will be adding the HTTP POST attribute which will mark this method for handling POST calls. Now for the last time, again we will move to the view. Now here we need to display the value of the view back object. For that, I will be writing some JavaScript. So first I am adding a condition to check whether view back object has value. Then only this particular JavaScript will render and get executed. Next thing I am adding script tags. Now inside the script tag, I'll be making use of window.onload event handler. This particular event handler is executed when the page is loaded in browser. Now inside the event handler, I am making use of alert function and using razor syntax, I'll be assigning the value of the view back to the alert function. So that's it. We are done with the programming part. Now we can run the code and see it in action. As you can see, the text box and the button has been rendered. So in the text box, I'll enter my name. Now I'll click on the button. As you can see, my name as well as the current date time from the server is displayed using JavaScript alert message box. With this, we come to the end of this video. Today we learned how to display a message from controller in view using JavaScript alert message box in ASP.NET Core. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. 